Hello everyone. Welcome back to the next video of the fellowship series that is going to be MK Ban Young Researcher Fellowship Program. So if you want to pursue your higher studies or if you want to carry out research after PhD, then this video is for you where we are going to discuss everything about this fellowship program. So let's dive into the video and see what is the eligibility criteria, what should be the stipend fellowship and how to apply for it. Coming to the highlights of the fellowship, so the name of this scheme is MK Bang Young Researcher Fellowship Program that is launched by the Government of India with the aim to encourage the bright researchers of the India so as to pursue their research work after PhD. That is launched for young postdoctoral fellows or you can say for those fellows who have just completed their PhD. And this is launched by the Ministry of Sciences and Technology under the Department of Biotechnology and the fellowship is awarded for a fellow who is willing to work in the DPT Autonomous Institutes only. The duration of this fellowship is for three years where you will be given a financial support to carry out all these research work and the application mode should be online and the website from where you can get every information regarding this fellowship will be www.dbtpromise.nic.in. Coming to the aim of the fellowship. So what's the actual aim of this fellowship? It is provided to a fellow that is the attractive opportunities to the young researchers for developing them as an independent investigator where they are going to carry out their uh, personal research that enables the young researcher to pursue their research interest that is within the country. So the next question is who can apply for this fellowship? So you should be an Indian national and should possess a PhD in any area of life sciences, biotechnology or allied areas. So those who have submitted their PhD but not awarded with a degree. So they are also uh, eligible to apply for this but their uh, fellowship will be implemented only after the award of the degree. So once you get this PhD degree only you will be getting the fellowship there. So applicant should not take up a fellowship or at the institute where he or she has done his or her PhD. So if you have done PhD from one institute so you are not supposed to enroll there again and work for this MK Ban Researcher Fellowship should not hold a permanent position in any university or institute. So you should not be a regular employee of any organization. And if you are doing so, so you will not be eligible for this MK Ban Fellowship. You should have an excellent track record as evidenced by the peer reviewed publication. You should have publication. You should have any uh, technology developed and any patents if you are having. So you will be preferred for this MK Ban Fellowship. Each applicant must identify a host institute and a mentor. So you should look for a host institute where you want to work and that institute should be a DBT autonomous institute and you should also talk to your mentor or if they are willing to take to, to you as an MK1 fellowship or you can say as a researcher. The upper age limit for this fellowship is going to be the 35 years as on the closing date of an application. And as applicants could not have more than one fellowship at the time. So if you're getting this fellowship, you should not get any other fellowship at the same time. And the application has to be endorsed by the mentor. So mentor is going to endorse this application and the head of the host institute that is GBT Autonomous Institute that is chosen by the applicant to take up the fellowship in the prescribed format. So now coming to the nature of the support, what should be the nature of the support? So you will be given a financial support of 75,000 per month and the research contingency grant of rupees 20 lakh per year. So make sure this contingency grant is for per year. That means you will be getting annually. MK Ban fellow can engage manpower. So you can take any one manpower like you can recruit GRF, you can recruit SRF, you can either recruit project assistant or project associate under you. And the capital equipment will be procured in the name of the institute and should not exceed rupees 10 lakh during the whole tenure. So capital equipment will be given that will be rupees 10 lakh during the entire tenure of this project. Now coming to the where will the MKB YRFP fellows work? So if you get this fellowship, so where you will work actually? So this can be taken up by the Young Researcher Grant at any of the DBT Autonomous Institute. So you can work at any of the autonomous institutes in the country that is daily forwarded by the competent authority of the host institute. And fellows are supposed to change their host institute only once. So if you're working somewhere and if you want to change your institute, so you are supposed to change this institute but only once during the tenure of the fellowship with the prior no objection certificate. But for this, you have to submit the no objection certificate. And the proposed new institute where you are going to work should be a DBT Autonomous Institute. So make sure if you are working in a DBT Autonomous Institute and if you want to change, again, it should be a DBT Institute. 
So now what should be the duration and the number of fellowship? So mainly 50 fellowship are provided each year. So this fellowship is going to be for the maximum of three years. But in exceptional cases, if you want the extension, if you want to carry out your research further, then it is given for the another two years, but on a fresh appraisal. Now, what's the mode of selection? Now, the national level selection committee should be there. That is from the Department of Biotechnology. That is going to select the final candidates for this fellowship program. Now, how to apply for this fellowship? So this form is to be submitted online. That is the link given here. That is www.dbtpromise.nic.in. And once you submit this application, you have to send the hard copy of this application along with the required document that is to be sent to Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Sciences and Technology, that is New Delhi. So this is all about the uh, fellowship that we have seen. What is the eligibility criteria? How to apply for this? What should be your fellowship? What is the aim of this fellowship? And every details regarding MK Ban Young Researcher Fellowship Program. So if you have any query, you can just put your, post your queries in the comments below. So meet you in the next session. Till next time, this is your host Ria from Biotechnica. Thank you everyone. Take care.